Well, I'm the director of the Viva Arts Camp. Um, I came up with the concept for it, understanding that there was a need for the students to uh, really have kind of a, an avenue to work creatively, all in Spanish, to preserve their heritage, their language, their culture. A lot of these students that we have were born here, uh, and their parents were not. And what we are starting to see is our young students are very Americanized. And that's a good thing because they are here in America. We want them to achieve a level of success as Americans and to progress in that way. But those traditions, those aspects of their culture from their native countries, we really want to make sure that they are preserved and continued forward in uh, the generations to come. The arts are a good learning tool because I noticed I was working with them with the capitals and just old fashioned, just writing and just pronouncing didn't work for them. So in a song or in dance or in um, something creative, especially for children, helps them memorize different ways. This is their new culture. They're not just Guatemalans anymore. They are uh, American Guatemalans, and this is so they they're different from their parents, and they, uh, they they don't have just one culture. They have two, and they're integrated. The fact that we can bring all these kids together. And they are from different countries, different nations. They're not all you know, from Guatemala, not all from Mexico. They're all from uh, different countries. But getting them together, working collaboratively, especially on art projects, is a very beautiful thing. We try to unite as a Latin people, as a Latin community, especially here in Georgetown. And I think uh, bringing them together with art is a really special way to get that to happen. They are going to grow up in this community. We want them to be as strong and successful as they can, and hopefully we are you know, producing future leaders for uh, our community.